Welcome back, beautiful people. Today, we're going to talk about three of the most valuable lessons from multimillionaires. My name is Matthew Holland. My goal is to teach you the tested tips and tricks to actually be successful and get what you want in life. So without further ado, let's get this show on the road. So I actually am making this video because I was talking to someone in my school community and they actually resonated with these ideas and they said I should make a video on it. So this one's for you, Arad. I really hope I'm saying that right. The first multimillionaire that we're going to talk about is Ali Abdal. We have talked about him before, but the message still holds true. Give yourself a fair stab at something before you decide if it's something you want to do long term or not, because sometimes you're doing the right thing but not long enough to see the fruits of your labor. For example, Ali Abdal made 100 YouTube videos before he decided if it was something that he wanted to do long term. I know that's a lot of work. However, this is something important to note because by the time he got to 100 videos, he had over 100,000 subscribers. In fact, he had multiple videos that went viral and went to a success. Now, I don't want to give you unrealistic expectations, but you never know what could actually come if you sat down and did the thing a little bit longer than you would have before. Your fifth video is not going to make you famous. In fact, I would even argue that you don't want it to because you probably have not learned the skills that you need to not be cringy. I say that with so much love. My first five videos are far from my best ones. And if you would like, I urge you to go look at like my first one or two and then look at my most recent one and you can decide for yourself. I feel like I did a beautiful job on my most recent one. I spent over eight hours on it. Check it out. Lesson number two from Jesse Itzler. I really hope I'm saying that correctly. The rule of 100 states that if you put 100 hours towards whatever skill you were trying to learn in one year, you will be better than 95% of the population. That is 18 minutes a day. Only 18 minutes will make you 95% sorry, better than 95% of the population. That is wild. I personally love this one so much because that means that you can actually scale how fast or how good you get at something. So imagine if you put not just 18 minutes, but an hour a day towards something or even, and this one comes from our next guest, four hours a day into whatever it is that you want to get good at. You're telling me you wouldn't be world class if you put four hours a day into the thing that you're working on. Now, granted, that comes into the topic of diminishing returns. That comes with anything. And so you might not get all of it out, but that's not to say that you will not be better than 95% of the population if you put forth four hours every single day. That's that's what it costs to be okay or good at something versus world class. And a little side note, world class people can charge whatever they want for their skills. This brings us to our third and final point. Expand your time horizon for success. What does that mean? Let's start here. Would you rather get $100 at the end of the week, $1,000 at the end of the month, or $10 million at the end of three years? If your answer was $10 million, then you need to start putting your money where your mouth is. I too have shiny object syndrome. It is no, it is no easier for me to sit here and do one thing for that long of a time period. ADHD brain is difficult, but never forget patience is a virtue. Do not stray the course and you will get to where you want to be. It is so difficult for me to imagine that you would not achieve the thing that you were set out to do if you actually put forth the work and stayed the course for three years, one goal and all of your efforts, that's it. There is no super convoluted plan or game plan. Or, now granted, some people have connects. That is one thing. But if you have the skills, you can do it over and over and over again. That's why millionaires constantly become millionaires again, because they have the skill set to get them back to where they wanted to be. The reason that these super successful people say this is because these are the things that they recognize after they have the skills and after they achieve the success wouldn't it make sense that you would know all the good parts of the movie after you've seen the movie and not before or you would know all the shortcuts after you've beaten the level and played the game than before yeah again they know what they're doing and that's how they can get back to where they were before if they lost it all it just doesn't seem that way because they live in a different realm than we do mentally so you can skip a step by learning the things that they tell us and actually applying it before you get there and it will probably help you get there faster again i have connections versus i have the skills that these people need i really want to drill that down 
I'm not telling you these things because I have them mastered. These are all things that I'm working towards myself and I cannot tell you how much emphasis so many successful people have put towards these three topics. That is why I'm bringing them to you today. And a bonus, because you made it this far in the video, it is so much easier to actually stay the course when you are surrounded by other people that have the same goals and ambitions that you do, no? That's why it's so much easier to actually stay fit when you meet friends at the gym or even keep studying. No, I'm not gonna use that example. Get better at basketball when you're surrounded by people that are good at basketball this isn't like a hot take by basketball i don't even watch basketball i play video games these are things i tell myself daily to remind myself that being said if you are a growth-minded and success-oriented individual you should join my school because that's where other people just like you that are trying to be successful are commuting and you have access to me who is actively putting my efforts forth to learn these things to teach you more clearly. I'm doing this because I love to help people, so you can hit me up and I'll actually answer your question. I check in there daily. With all this being said, I want to see you win. That is the reason why I take so much time out of my own day to put forth for you guys to watch this and learn from them and so you can get where you wanna be faster. With all this being said, thank you for giving me your precious, precious attention. My name is Matthew Hall and today is day 26 and I will see you tomorrow.